So this is another number series based question. So we need to find out what pattern they have used and we need to find out the missing term in the series. Okay. And always keep in mind when you get a question like this or a number series based question in the exam, don't spend too much time. Okay. Because if it is a hard one, it's going to take a lot of time. So you're going to get stuck here. So it's always a good idea uh, to like, you know, try it out. If you're not getting it, don't spend too much time. Okay. So we're going to teach you some strategies we could use in these type of questions in case if you get stuck. So first step is, uh, first step when you get a pattern like this, try to identify the series, try to connect with the, the common series that you have seen in the, in the, like in the classes we have taken in the question purpose previous, try to relate with the common series, right? So I could, uh, first thing I could see that is, um, like, you know, all these numbers are close to the squares or cubes, right? I think it's it's close to the cubes. I think this is actually pretty much uh, like close to the pattern that we have seen before that is m cube plus uh, m square pattern. You take the cube of the number and uh, you take the square of the number. It's actually close to this because if I remember, because this is a common like, you know, series that you have seen in many of the test papers, right? m cube plus m square. So the series they uh, form out of this pattern is uh, starting from 1 cube plus 1 square is 1. Then you have 2 cube plus 2 square is uh, 8 plus 4, 12. 3 cube plus 3 square is 27 plus 9, 36. 4 cube plus 4 square is uh, 80, see? So you can see that these numbers are very close to it, okay? So this is something that I used here in this. When I saw this question, I connect with the, the a series that is familiar to me. And then I, I started thinking with respect to that, okay? So, um... So what I was, what I'm thinking when you get a question like this is something related to cube or square adding or so a combination of that. So I'm going to start uh, with that thought process. Okay. So let's start with three. So three can be written as one cube plus uh, remaining is two. Then 14 can be written as two cube, which is uh, eight plus six. 39 can be written as uh, 3 cube which is 27 plus you have uh, 12 then 84 can be written as 4 cube 4 cube is 64 you have 20 remainder right so I need to find a logic for the remaining part 2 6 12 20 yes you can actually figure out a logic so it's nothing but this is 1 cube plus 1 times 2 is 2 so I'm multiplying 1 with the next number okay so here in the second one is 2 cube plus 6 can be written as 2 times what is the next number coming? 3. And similarly 3 cube uh, plus 39 can be written as 3 cube plus 12 can be written as 3 times next number 4. So you can see a pattern generating here, right? And similarly the next one is 4 cube plus uh, 20 can be written as 4 times 5. Yeah, makes sense. So the next number has to be uh, based on the logic 5 cube plus 5 times 6. Right, 5 cube is 125 plus 30. So it's going to be 125 plus 30 is equal to 155 should be the right answer. So I'm going to cross check with this. It should be true. 6 cube plus 6 times 7. So 6 cube is 216 plus 6 sevens are 42. Adding them up, it's 258. Yes, it's correct. So this is the right answer. Option B is the right answer. So this is one way of solving it. Okay. And there are like, you know, if you're not able to figure out this uh, logic, then it's going to be, then you will get, there are higher chance that you can get stuck in this type of questions. So if I said, uh, like, don't spend too much time in these kind of questions. So I'm going to teach you a different approach that you could use in case if you are stuck in these, if you are not able to figure out the pattern, then you can use the this approach, what I'm going to teach you right now. You can use it as a last resort. I'm not saying that you should always get the answer, but uh, like, you know, it's uh, there are higher chances that you could get the answer. Okay, using this uh, approach, what I'm going to teach you right now. Okay, approach number two. So it's called two-level difference method. Okay, it's called two-level difference method. So first step is you write down the series 314, 39, 84. Then you have the missing term. Then you have 258. Okay. Next step is you take the difference here. So it's 14 minus 3 is uh, 11. Then again, you take the difference here. 39 minus 14, which is uh, uh, 25. Yeah. 
25. Then again, you take the difference here. Uh, it's going to be 45. Then since we don't have this number, there should be a difference here. And also there should be a difference here. So there are two terms missing. Okay, so this is the first level of difference we did. Again, you 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 do one more level of difference. So it's going to be 25 minus 11, which is uh, 40. And this is going to be 20. Okay. So you can see that there is a difference of 6 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trust my instinct. Okay, because I do, I'm kind of stuck. I don't have any other option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trust that, okay, this is the pattern. It might, like, that will work here. I'm... I'm just going to like trust my instincts here. So based on the pattern, this is 40, this is 20, 14 and 20. There is a difference of 6. So this has to be a 26. Similarly, this also has to be 26 plus 6. This difference has to be 32. Okay, if if you follow this path, 14, 20, 26, 32. Okay, so for to have 26 here, as a difference, this number has to be uh, 45 plus 26. It is going to be 60, 71. Then only you'll get 26 here. 71 minus 45 is 26. Similarly, to get 32 as a difference here, this number has to be 71 plus 32, which is uh, 103. Okay. So I'm going to follow it again. I'm going to uh, find out this number. So to get the difference 71 here, this number has to be uh, this number has to be 84 plus 71, which is 155. Yeah, makes sense. And you can cross check whether this is same. See, 258, if you subtract 155, you're getting 103. Yeah, it makes sense. All, all this series is connected. So your answer is 155. You can also use this approach. Option B is the right answer. This is called two-level difference method. And Keep in mind, this is kind of a last resort in case if you in case if you are stuck or if you don't know how to proceed further in a number series question, you can definitely use it. And don't think that like I'm not saying it's hundred percent works, but most of the case it works. So you can always use it as a last resort 